thought it might be fun to show you what I get up to today. See what I do on this Memorial Day. I literally just got out of bed. I woke up today at 5.30 and couldn't go back to sleep for like two hours. Maybe an hour and a half. But I didn't want to get up yet, so I just slept some more. And then I got up now and it's like 11. So, <laughs> yeah, late start to the, the day. And I really wanted to vacuum today. <laughs> This might be so boring and weird. So my first task of the day will be vacuuming my stairs and my hallway. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. Ugh. is genuinely bedhead because I haven't changed it since I got out of bed. I think I'll start getting ready for the day. Let's do it. if you're interested. Oh, I just noticed my nails. I had these nail wraps and, and um, some of them fell off. They were so cute when I first put them on though. These are from Lily and Fox, in case you were wondering. Anyway, so my face. I started with this concealer. This is the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. I do this as foundation all over my face, mostly because I want to just like use it up and get rid of it, but it's, it's actually pretty good. I like it. And then next is this shade for contour. This is an e.l.f. contour palette. And this is a Tarte blush. And then I blend it out with this little e.l.f. powder I have. And like the very small remains of that. I use just to blend everything out once I put on foundation, contour, and blush. And then this highlighter, which I really like, baked highlighter from e.l.f. And then this e.l.f. white uh, finishing powder to smooth everything out. This e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I used all the gel. This looks so disgusting. I used all the gel. Now I'm just using the powder. Fill in my brows. For mascara, this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is very inexpensive and it works pretty well. And this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss, which I am at the very end of as well. I'm at the end of so many things. This, this, this. That's it. <laughs> and I love e.l.f. as you can see. Most of my products are e.l.f. They make good stuff. Next on the agenda today is my husband and I are going to take a walk, which is my favorite thing. I love taking walks. goodness it's a few hours later we had a great walk and then we just were like lazy for two and a half hours and laid on the bed took a nap it was awesome looked at our phones it was just great so now there were some holes in my wall that I patched up with that little like wall putty stuff I need to retexturize it so that when I paint it it's all the same texture so I got this wall texture spray stuff from Amazon so I'm going to go outside with some cardboard, practice with it, and then do it on the actual wall. So this will be our little DIY project today. But safety first, of course. And I'm going to twist up my hair. Got to clip it in place. And I need some cardboard. Found some cardboard, let's go outside. Should do it like that, like it's a wall. Ooh, I'll tilt it like that, that'll be good. I need like a medium texture, I think. 
good thing we're practicing because I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, yeah, it just looks like <laughs> some spray there. Cool. Oh, so that's not a good one. It was too close. I think I just need it between medium and heavy. You know what? We will go with that. So now I need, I saw someone do this on a video. I can't remember if it was on YouTube or TikTok or something, but they had a cardboard like a sheet of cardboard, but they just cut a circle out of the middle of it. So the, when you spray the texture, it just goes in that hole in the cardboard and it protects the wall around it, which I thought was genius. So now I need to make my little like cardboard template. That's what I'll do next. Okay, I got my cardboard and an X-Acto knife. And I was just thinking this might be a little extra. I don't know if you necessarily need to do this. So I might not even use it the whole time, but I'm willing to try it out. Cut a hole in cardboard. So skilled. Here I am in my stairwell where I have the patches I need to spray on. I got a drop cloth. There's my cardboard. I've got some tape so I can tape the cardboard on the wall. I'm nervous, but I'm like, why am I so nervous? I just need a little texture. Just so it doesn't stand out horrendously when you paint over it. And it's like, wow, look at that smooth spot on this very textured wall. So no big deal, right? No big deal. Here goes nothing. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit bigger than I wanted, more textured than I wanted, but it's fine. Yeah, I think that will be fine. That will be just fine. It's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine. This is going really well. I, I kind of like used this sometimes, just held it up sometimes, started freehanding it sometimes. It's going better than I thought, so this is great. Drop cloth is needed. Yes. This is actually really fun. I love doing this. It sprays on blue, but it dries white. I'm actually so happy with this. So now when I paint it, it will be textured. And it's gonna be awesome. I really had no idea this stuff existed until a few months ago. Like I was thinking, am I gonna have to like take a sponge and like some putty and like dab it on there and try to make the same texture? But no, they just have a spray. They make it so easy. So after I did my wall patches, I just kind of sat in here for a while and looked at my phone, scrolled through Instagram and TikTok. TikTok has not been delivering the goods lately, I must say. Usually I find really good ones. Or they're, they're on my For You page and they just make me laugh and they're great. But lately, there have been a lot of duds. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> so if you follow anyone great on TikTok, they're funny, they make great little videos, please let me know. Please leave a comment with their username so I can follow them. Or if you are one of the people, leave your username in the comments so I can follow you because... I need some good accounts to follow on TikTok. Next, I really want to do a page in my <laughs> my Cinderella magic painting book. I was part of a virtual Usborne, is that how it's said? Usborne book party. Looked through all their books. I definitely wanted a magic painting book and I got this Cinderella one. <laughs> it's intended for small, small children, but I really wanted to do one, so I bought it for myself. So I will be painting a page in my Cinderella magic painting book. Let me just kind of show you what this is about. So it has the beautiful pictures, no color because you paint it with just plain old water and the colors appear. <laughs> That's why it's magic.
cool was that magic painting book. I just loved every second of it. It was so fun. So now it is later. We had dinner. We had Panda Express. Brought it home. Watched The Office. It was so great and relaxing. Now it is time to get ready for bed. I'm going to take a shower and then I think I will share my nighttime skincare routine. That should be fun. Shower is done. Let's talk skincare. To remove my makeup and like break it down, I love to use jojoba oil. It's very kind to my skin. It's good for sensitive skin and it just breaks down makeup really, really well. Eye makeup, face makeup, I do like a quarter sized amount in my hand. Get rid of all my makeup that way. It's from the brand Cleganic and I've purchased three or four so far. It's great oil, love it. And for cleanser in the shower, I use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is an excellent cleanser. I love it so much. It cleans your skin, simple as that. So before I do the next step, I wait about five minutes, 10 minutes after getting out of the shower to do the next step, which is the Benzoyl Peroxide 2.5% treatment from acne.org. This stuff works very well. I am so glad I found out about this. I'm so glad I ordered this from acne.org. I've been using this product since like August of last year and it has helped my skin very, very much. I used to have a ton of acne and always had breakouts like along my jawline. Um, I still have acne, but it's not nearly as bad as it's been in my past. And this has helped so much. What I love about acne.org is they give you just very detailed instructions. With this product, you're supposed to do two pumps, but that's still a little too much for me. So I do about one pump of this. It's a ton of product, I know, but their system works. So you do a pump, two pumps, whatever it is. Gently put it all over your face. And you, when they say gently, they mean gently. They say like, have your fingertips barely touch your skin and just apply it everywhere for a max of three minutes. So I don't spend a ton of time doing this. You have three minutes to just rub it in and then you just let your skin absorb it for about five to 15 minutes and you do your next step. It's been about 10 minutes. My hands have been freshly washed and I'm ready for the next step. I'll be using another product from CeraVe and another product from acne.org. I will combine these for my moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Facial PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Very great. I read a lot of blogs about this. It was awesome. And a ton of estheticians on TikTok say this is good as well. So I feel very validated. And then this from acne.org is the AHA plus glycolic acid 10% treatment. I use this about once a week combined with my moisturizer at night. It is great at sloughing off those dead skin cells and it smooths out your skin texture. And I love it because I can really tell a difference the next morning after I use it. So I'll get a few pumps of this. And then a little of this, can we see? Yeah. And I'll just combine them and carefully apply it to my face. And then CeraVe by itself for my neck. Last is eye cream. This is the Lily Anna Naturals Rosehip and Hibiscus Eye Cream. I found this on Amazon and it had really good reviews, so I decided to get it. And it is honestly so nourishing. When I wake up in the morning, my eyes, the skin around my eyes, it feels so soft, so moisturized. It's really lovely. And that is my nighttime skincare routine. I think I will end the vlog here just because after this I'm going to bed and I want to thank you all for watching, seeing what I got up to today. Leave a comment letting me know what you got up to on Memorial Day. I would love to hear about it. Subscribe if you want to know when I post a new video and I'll see you in my next one.